Aries placements, welcome to your update. This is a reading for you. This could be your energy, the energy of someone you're connected to with a circumstance. Um, understand that this reading could play out from the perspective of the cross watcher. This is a timeless reading. It's also very general to take what resonates, let the rest go. I do not read gender. This is not a gender specific reading. And um, again, cross watchers are welcome. Feel free to reverse the energies however they resonate for you. And we're going to get into this energy. Again, Sagittarius placements, wherever you have Sag on your chart. And this reading is for you. Um, we're going to be doing a reading today. Um, it's a shadow reading, okay, representing blockages or anything that needs to be healed or anything that's being worked through, okay? So remember, this could be your energy or the energy of someone that's connected to you, okay? Online Source Divine Spirit, Archangels, and Ancestors. My higher self and my galactic team with the highest light and resonance. Show me clearly what I need to see for Sagittarius placements. Yes, have the wolf in reverse, okay? The wolf in reverse. The wolf in sheep's clothing. There's a wolf in sheep's clothing, okay? This came out in reverse. Let's see what this represents, okay, for Sagittarius. Um, we have a wolf in sheep's clothing. Sagittarius. Placements. We have a wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay, so with the wolf being in reverse, I'll turn it up right just for the aesthetic. <clears throat> the wolf is representing the self without others. Someone who can stand on their own, someone who's sovereign in their energy, someone who does not need approval, someone who is confident in who they are. They don't need glamor, they don't need illusions to be comfortable looking in the mirror, to be themselves, okay? They don't need recognition. So the wolf represents the self without others. Um, a calling, the great expanse. So in reverse, I feel like this is someone who could be someone who is an introvert or a loner but they're in that mode not by choice someone could be on the run someone could be in hiding someone could be again this is almost like hermit mode this is almost like hermit in reverse where there's someone who's acting on basic instinct not a higher self not trusting their inner guidance not connected to their higher self um, someone who may be depressed or feeling shame or feeling guilt or someone again acting off instinct a wolf in sheep's clothing, um, a wolf that is feeling impinged upon or feeling insecure, will attack, will attack, may not be, you know, may not Be open to wander out on their own, to explore the wild, to t take calculated risks. It's like impulsive and it's this energy of get what you can, attack um, impulsively kind of an energy, okay? Someone may have missed their calling. Wow. The wolf in reverse. Very interesting.
So let's see um, if we can find out more about this energy. This wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay. <laughs> An escapist. This wolf in sheep's clothing, this wolf in reverse, which represents being comfortable um, in your own energy, being sovereign. The self without others, without recognition. A missed opportunity. The great expanse. So there's someone that could be in hiding, could be trying to get away with something, could be on the run. But ultimately, this is an energy of someone who doesn't feel free to roam, feel free to be themselves. So they're going within. They're, they're going within not to do work, to elevate. They're just hiding, isolating themselves, okay? Interesting. Wolf in reverse, and we have escapist. Tell me more about this, this energy. We have ruthless. Okay, the way this cold image, the statue, okay, is dragging these two bodies. This could definitely be someone that's you know, hiding out. There could be something criminal that's happened. Um, something dark, something ruthless, something cold. I'm getting um, King of Swords energy. So this could definitely have something to do with something legal, karma, um, a masculine Libra energy, or a, a feminine Aquarius energy or air in general. I'm also getting Virgo energy. I'm getting Hermit energy, okay, um, with this wolf in reverse energy and I'm also getting with the nine Virgo hermit energy is number nine um, this has something to do with Sagittarius because um, the nine that represents the hermit is actually the house that Sagittarius rolls which is the ninth house so there's something here that is being hidden or there's some shame or guilt or there's some energy if it's not criminal activity where someone's on the run or in hiding or on house arrest or something like that and someone's trying to escape from a ruthless individual from a ruthless karmic connection and if they are trying to escape from the law or from their karma they have to understand with number nine in Sagittarius energy Sagittarius rules the ninth house the ninth house represents the higher realms it's, it represents god energy okay the higher power you can't escape from that okay someone could be trying to just escape from who they are okay of their ruthless nature their cold nature their inability to live in their emotions hearing so much pressure in the air and I can't get away I'm not happy here so much pressure in the air and I can't get away that's too pop okay so yeah we do have this energy of there has been something that's happened you know there's an energy here that 
you know, there's someone who really does seek approval from others. There may have been something that has happened that has forced someone to to hide themselves, to um, go under the radar because of something that has happened. I do feel like someone could be um, breaking free, okay, possibly, of a very confining situation um, within a karmic situation or a karmic connection. Someone could be escaping from their, um, their confines, this marriage, this family, or prison. Someone could be getting released from a mental institution or someone could be um, getting off of some type of confinement, okay? Is what I'm getting. We have ruthless, we have escapist. And we'll get one more, clarify them. We have manipulation, okay? Someone could be trying to get away with some type of manipulation. Or someone breaking free of a very manipulative situation, okay? So let's quickly clarify these. Yeah, um, someone's being haunted by something that they have done that was very ruthless. Legally, within a connection, family, business. This could have something to do with someone who, you know, passed away, or was killed, or a wrongful death situation. You can't escape the eye of Horus, of God. The universe source although you can be disconnected from it so someone's haunted someone feels haunted by a connection by their past by their actions escapist tell me about escapist for Sagittarius placements tell me about escapist we have the five of swords legal deception Entitlement energy, someone felt like they could get away with something. Someone may be um, coming to terms with the, the fact that they have to be selfish within a connection or something in order to break free of it. They have to choose themselves. This could also represent... Someone coming to terms with the fact that they are they're very selfish, self-centered. Some selfish actions led to someone's death or to the death of a relationship. Or something being cut off, deaded, possibly by a queen of swords energy. And again, I'm giving you as many scenarios as possible but the one that stands out the most is we have this lone wolf energy this wolf in sheep clo sheep's clothing someone who uh really isn't sovereign in their energy they need the approval of others but yet they are in hiding they can't be expansive someone is stuck someone is in shame or guilt or someone is hiding out confined on the run impulsive Okay, so 
the one the, the, the thing that's standing out the most is that there could be someone who's trying to get away with something legally here ruthless actions that could have led to um some type of tragedy okay um but again this could definitely represent someone cutting someone off someone breaking free of a very manipulative calculating individual controlling narcissistic and getting away finally choosing themselves and getting away um yeah I really can't make this up. We have the hermit on the bottom of the deck in reverse. So there's definitely this energy. We have the lone wolf, the wolf in sheep's clothing, wolf in reverse, the hermit in reverse. I already explained that that, that energy pulled out hermit energy to me. The hermit is number nine. Okay. That's Sagittarius energy. This could have something to do with a fire sign or Sagittarius energy, but the ninth house represents the higher realms. You can't escape. Okay. The truth always prevails. But again, um, this hermit in reverse could represent someone coming out of hermit mode, someone choosing themselves and breaking free of a situation. But I'm also getting this energy, again, of someone who's not tapped in, who is choosing um, pain or that's stuck in the dark night of the soul. You know, um, the hermit in reverse could represent depression and um just isolation, someone who feels confined, someone who has chosen to be confined based off of their actions. Someone's hiding out. Someone is definitely feeling the guilt and shame of something that's happened. Okay. They, 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 they can't escape it, but they're trying or they did escape it, but they can't escape themselves. They can't escape their mind. Let's clarify this Ruthless card. Tell me about Ruthless. Tell me about this Ruthless energy. Tell me about this Ruthless energy for Sagittarius placements. Okay. We have the sun in reverse. The sun in reverse. Someone feels very depressed, very dark, disconnected from source. This could be a chosen path. Someone chose a side here that led them into something very uh, dark or a choice. Um, maybe someone is depressed about a choice that they made or again, depressed within a very confining, manipulative connection that someone is trying to break free of. The sun in reverse, this could be a Leo energy, okay? Um, this is definitely, um, there could have been some type of tragedy or situation that stemmed from someone's ego or something, again, very selfish here. We're also getting some really dark energy surrounding someone's childhood, childhood trauma. Someone is stuck in their inner child. They never healed from something. You know, someone is taking on this ruthless energy that may have been displayed to them as a child. Okay, by a very ruthless energy that was not connected to source either. And these actions led someone into their adult life, making ruthless, selfish decisions. Void of love, but full of manipulation and control. Okay, so... The sun is number 19, reduces to 10. So this is something about, it, 10 reduces to one. It's something about the self that needs to change. But tens also represent an ending. There is an ending. There's a completion that's coming to the situation, meaning that something is going to be um, illuminated. Okay. Now, someone could have Leo in their moon, Leo in their Mars or Venus, okay? 
I'm also getting Virgo air placements as well. I haven't seen your energy, Sagittarius, except for the number nine and the hermit represents the house that Sag rules. So this could have something to do with you, but I don't see you in this reading right now. Okay, so this could be some definitely someone that you're connected to. This sun card in reverse clearly shows that something ended. There could have been a death, okay? There could have been a death. I want to go a little deeper into that sun card for you guys really quickly here because I feel like it's speaking to me. Um, I'm going to show it to you upright, but it did come out in reverse. It bows before you, glistening like shining oil. You climb onto its back and great soft wings carry you up, up above mist and smoke and doubt. From this height, you see the world anew, where living things sprout and grow out of the concealing shadows, where hearts seek the light. As you fly higher and higher, the light causes your skin to glow with a newfound brilliance. This is who you are, this shining soul held aloft in the darkness. This is a world of opportunities to seek and find great joy. When the sun is upright, it's about clarity and happiness and finding your, your, your center, your joy and limitless possibilities. But this came out in reverse. Someone was not flying up, up, up. They were spiraling down, down, down. Someone is not finding their joy. Someone has lost their joy. Stuck in the shadows. There could be someone who passed that's stuck. Okay? Unresolved. Um, unresolved energy after something tragic. So someone could be stuck. Their spirit could be stuck, a lost soul, and someone being haunted by that soul. Okay, this could also just represent someone who's very in pain, depressed, and is trying their hardest to escape from a very, you know, dark situation within a connection where, there, where there's no love, where there's no nurturing, where it's just cold, okay? And someone's trying to heal their inner child, they're haunted by their past, they're dealing with someone, in a very karmic situation in their family, in a relationship or a marriage, um, who is in this energy. Okay. And let's clarify manipulation. Yeah. So someone's stuck, okay, in a situation where they feel doomed, um, they feel lonely, they feel ostracized. Um, they feel rejected by society, by everyone, um, or someone is rejecting this ruthless energy, okay? Um, someone's not happy in this existence or because of choices that they made that they feel haunted by. Someone is, you know, wishing they could have looked up and, and listened to their, 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 their guides or someone, okay? But... Someone is stuck in something legal, something stuck, stuck in something karmic, and they don't see a way out. But there's one cup that's still standing. I feel like someone is hanging on to some type of hope. Maybe that one cup is someone that's breaking free of a very, like, cold situation. They're cutting someone off. They're standing in their, their truth. They're being selfish, and they're trying to escape. Okay? But I'm getting here that someone has spiraled downwards, or someone did choose a side. Um... Or someone's finding out, like, accepting who they truly are and facing their shadow. There could be hope, is what I'm getting. Okay, manipulation. What is manipulation, please, for Sagittarius placement? What is manipulation? Manipulation is the seven of pentacles with the three of wands.
someone, um, you know, with this seven of wands here and this seven of pentacles and the three of wands, this is Taurus energy. Okay, we also have Cancer with that four of cups. Um, but this is Taurus energy or earth and then this is Aries energy or fire. And we have manipulation. I feel like there is someone that has invested a lot of energy, time, money into some taking action or planning, plotting, strategizing to manipulate someone. I see revenge. I see calculated actions. Someone has invested a lot of money and a lot of time, okay, and has taken a lot of risks to manipulate. Or to control something. This could be the, 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 the um, what has happened or what happened, remember this could be the past, could be happening now or the future, that led to someone's imprisonment or some legal issues or karma, or what led to a very karmic like connection or situation that could have led to this tragedy or to this this very dark situation that someone's trying to escape from. This could also represent someone who is saving and they're being very strategic and they're planning and they're plotting and they're strategizing on how to break free of a very manipulative situation. They're trying to escape. Someone's very, someone's a loner. Someone's very introverted. Someone's made some bad decisions. Someone is accepting, possibly in a situation that they're very selfish, that they have made some selfish choices that have led to a lot of pain, discord, and karma. And, and someone may be wanting to face that. They're trying to escape a big part of maybe a organization, family, group, whatever you want to call it. They're trying to escape that so that they can continue to try to absolve something that they got themselves into. So someone could be saving um, and plotting, planning, strategizing to find a way out of this darkness through this mist here. But I feel like it's been a very, very deep, dark spiral in the situation. Six of swords. But I feel like someone's trying to escape a situation and they may have set accountability for what they've done, possibly, or they're trying to, but they there's something that's so deep and dark about this that they can't escape it. Something's not quite being addressed here. Because we have the Six of Swords, Aquarius energy, as someone's trying to leave a very uh, complicated Five of Swords situation. The six of swords is in reverse. You can't get to the six without the five. And the five is about deception, difficulties, challenges. Six of swords is moving forward into the unknown um, with new information, with um, support to push you along the way. But this is in reverse, so there is a break in the transition. You know, um, there's something that's on someone's soul that's heavy because the six of swords there's already six swords in the boat so you have to kind of be moving through your lower chakras you have to be you know light light in terms of your karma and your baggage in order for you to really make that transition 
and someone hasn't really done that okay so someone could have some type of entity attached to them okay um there's something that's that's not moving forward no matter how hard somebody tries okay Someone's faced with some difficult choices here. Two of Wands. Lots of Aries energy here. Um, we have Virgo. We have Aquarius for sure. We have the Sun. Cancer. We have that ninth house energy, which is your energy, Sagittarius, but I feel like this is something that is taking place around you. Okay, so it could involve you. It could be about you, but this is some other energy okay um that's really dealing with something here um again we have the escape artist someone's trying to get away someone's trying to cut off a ruthless energy maybe get out of a karmic connection that's really ruthless someone's trying to accept who they are, deal with some legal issues. Someone definitely could be on the run. Someone could be escaping from the confines. It could be something, a little prison or, you know, their own mind or a relationship, okay? Some type of shady dealings or, again, just stepping into their energy, um, acknowledging certain aspects of themselves, choosing themselves to break free of something, you know, very manipulative and cold. This could represent a tragedy um, but there's a lot of manipulation in the situation, okay? Let's just get a final card. <laughs> Any other final messages? Okay, so that's where we're going to kind of leave it. Someone's trying to get away, all right? Someone could be trying to um, take, take accountability or accept certain aspects of themselves. Um, but someone could be trying to minimize their role in a situation. This definitely has something to do with something legal. We have lots of swords in this reading. Definite Aquarius, definite Gemini, Libra, Virgo, Cancer, Aries okay so there's some deception there has been deception okay and um, there's a lot of negative energy okay so I am definitely getting the energy of some type of spell work or binding work that's that was done um, something to do with manipulation or control or money money in order to uh, get what someone desired. Someone took a risk, possibly for money. It has something to do with the tourists as well, to see their ships coming in, but there was something corrupt about it, something manipulative about it, okay? This could have been a robbery, a hit, um, something to do with money or a crime, but ruthless energy. You know, someone is definitely on the run. They're worried. Seven, nine of pentacle. I'm sorry, nine of swords. Anxiety, sleepless nights. Feeling haunted, okay? Feeling haunted. We have the escape artist. We have the lone wolf. We have the wolf in sheep, sheep's clothing, okay? We have the hermit. Someone can't get out of their mind. Someone can't forget what they did. Possibly to you, Sagittarius. Or possibly someone thinks that you know something about what they did and someone's having sleepless nights. 
And there could be some type of manipulation that's going on to keep someone from revealing something. Okay? And someone could be, again, doing very manipulative or even dark magic. Paying someone, paying a high priestess or something like that, seven of pentacles, three of wands, to keep someone from exposing something. All right? Someone being very methodical and planning something, okay? Again, could be a Virgo. We have the Prince of Pentacles here. And on this bottom of the deck, we have secretive, okay? Someone's wearing a false mask. All right, we'll leave it there. Can I get an oracle to end this reading, please, for Sagittarius? We have Spirit of the Stranger, Caution, Warning, Danger. Okay, Caution, Warning, Danger. We have someone who is on the run, someone who's in hiding, someone who is an escape artist. We have someone who also could be escaping from a very manipulative situation, okay? There could be someone who's very upset, very ruthless, very dark, that doesn't want someone to get away. Either way, this is a warning, okay? This is just a cautionary tale, okay, of manipulation and um, what's happening in the shadows, okay? Um, spirit of the anchor, okay? Invest, solid, stable. Um, you don't have to worry. Um, Someone here is very solid. Their protection is solid. They're solid. They're stable. Okay? Don't invest your, your energy in worrying about this. This is just confirmation. And this is just information to caution you. Okay? whatever someone is doing or trying to do again with that nine energy of the hermit whatever someone's trying to hide or get away with or whatever someone is about to do out of instinct against you okay because you're not in this reading ninth house energy it's nine it's source it's higher power okay so someone here is possibly a divine feminine energy or someone has a lot of you know um, feminine deities or um, ancestors or um, important energies on the other side, okay, that are seeing everything play out and um, something's about to come to light, someone's about to hang themselves in a situation, okay, Whatever this represents, if this is you escaping some manipulation or some type of controlling, ruthless situation, trust your intuition, okay? Um, be receptive and trust your deepest inner knowing. Whatever you feel, it's the deal. Trust it, okay? Everything is being seen on, in the higher realms. Everything is being seen, seen on the higher realms. everything <laughs> is being seen the higher realms. <laughs>